days ago, I posted a video on YouTube showing uh, how did I hack to my neighbor's Wi-Fi network named Android AP. So uh, recently, I think yesterday or day after yesterday, I posted the same video in my social media and uh, that video got a lot of attention and people kept asking me how did I did it. So today, I would like to do a in-depth tutorial on how to hack a Wi-Fi network. So um, let's get started. Before I begin, let me tell you that hacking is considered illegal in many countries, especially when it's done to um, harm anyone. So uh, I don't have any responsibilities about what you do with this video because this is just for educational purpose only and should be done to test vulnerabilities to in your own network. Um, uh, this is because uh, if you don't want your password to be hacked or be guessed by anyone, so you can do that to apply this technique and you can see how strong is the password and how easily can it be hacked. So if you abide by this, um, what I told right now, then you are feel free to process it. So first, you will need Kali Linux installation files. Second, you need to either burn it into a DVD or a USB flash drive, I mean make a bootable USB flash drive in order to install it. Now, third is you can either install Kali as a secondary operating system or install it in your VM or the fastest option is try live building Kali without even need to install it. Uh, let me tell you what are the advantages of installing as a secondary operating system. This is because you won't get any incompatibility issues with uh, when you do install it as a secondary operating system. And if when you do uh, when you do install Kali, but as a VM, I mean in a VM, then what will happen is you can get some of the incompatibility incompatibility issues, um, uh, generally um, related to Ethernet or Wi-Fi card or many things are there many other problems that can be arises if you have installed in a VM and most of the process actually uh, is not 100% guaranteed that it will work I mean not all the features may work in a VM that's why I always recommend you to install it as a secondary operating system if you like good Kali that is also good that is also you cannot you, you don't get any incompatibility issues so it's up to you what you do but my recommendation is install it as a secondary operating system if you have a large hard drive. Now, before um, you can start hacking, you will need a password directory. And in that directory, the password that, um, I mean, the Wi-Fi that you will be hacking and the password of that Wi-Fi is in India. But wait, 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 wait. There are some dudes right now I will be telling me, I dislike this video, but this is a fucked up, it's a bullshit process, we need to have the password, you never take first before you can get started with the fucking hacking man, let's dislike this video and run away from here, but wait, no need to get angry for no reason, this is because with this method there is 80% chance that you can uh, crack password from a Wi-Fi, from a normal dude or an average home user, because they won't have any nasty passwords in their Wi-Fi security system, I mean WPA, WPA2 security system, they won't give any kind of nasty passwords at all that will be all convenient and easy to guess and secondly um use a updated password dictionary not at rocku.txt that has been come pre-installed i mean uh, that has been pre-bundled with kali and that's a little bit of old directory from i think 2016 or maybe older than that i'm not sure uh, about that and uh, you can google for latest password directory that has been cracked in recent years so that you can get uh, so that you can come to know uh, you can crack any password actually and that's why I told no need to get angry for no reason. Now, enough talking, let's get to work. Started. So guys, I'm in my inside my Kali system right now. And now I'll show you how to do that. And this is the demo password directory, which I have created just for this tutorial in order to show you how these things actually works. So now let's get started. Open up a terminal. Type airmon dash ng and see what interface I'm using. In my case, it is the VLAN 0. In your case, it might be different. So type the name wherever it appears under interface. So now you need to kill some process that can cause interference. But before that, you can start, you need to start the monitor interface, uh, monitor mode on your network card. That means airmon dash ng start the VLAN 0. So you can say, so it has said that the three processes that could cause trouble so let me get so let me kill it airmon dash ng check kill hit enter so these processes are died and they have nothing to do anymore so what you need to do right now is that type arrow dump dash ng double and zero mon 
and a question might develop in your mind that why I'm typing WLAN 0 here instead I typed WLAN 0 here. This is because the monitor mode has been enabled in my Wi-Fi card and it's showing WLAN 0 mon and here also I need to type WLAN 0 mon. If I type different uh, name that this process might become invalid so you need to uh, take a close look that you don't mistype or you don't type anything else so it error so these are the wi-fi hotspots that i am surrounded in so let my test wi-fi to come up so that i can uh, invade it and that wi-fi hotspot has been created by me just for this tutorial purpose only and there is nothing use of it so this is a test wi-fi so once you think that you have waited enough to your hotspot to be loaded hit ctrl c to stop it so once you have done that, so you need to open up another terminal and type the following command from here. Arrow dump dash ng dash c that will be channel. So test Wi-Fi is broadcasting at channel 6, double dash bssid, then a bssid number, which is uh, apparently this one. Copy it and paste it on this, uh, this terminal. And dash w slash root slash desktop and slash after that wlan 0 mon your interface and this location is for the files that we want to be stored uh, associated with this test wi-fi so hit enter so you need to wait for a client so what is that is what that means is that you need to um, you need to wait for something that uh, you need to wait for a client to connect to that particular Wi-Fi so let me use my cell phone to connect to it and obviously a client will be appear will be appearing so the password will be so I joined this network and uh, the client has been appeared so I'm connected to this so once I am connected I'll need to send the authentication packets in order to disconnect the client from the router in case if you're using router you can use the word router or whatever it is so what I need to do I leave it running and it captured a WPA handshake but I need to show you how to send a the authentication packets but remember guys if you connect to a Wi-Fi network after um, uh, performing this one I mean after typing this command then WP handshake will be captured automatically but you might not be lucky enough every time if you especially if you hack if any uh, hack into any others uh, Wi-Fi network if you do that what you will need to do is that open up another terminal and you need to disconnect the client and router as I told you before airplay dash ng dash zero that stands for the authentication packets. I will send five this time and routers BSSID and this one copy it and paste it dash A. I forgot that one after that dash C. That will be client BSSID. In this case, it is this one copy it and paste it. And after that, you, uh, it can, here comes your interface, hit enter. So it is sending that the authentication packets. So what happens is that the, the connection between the router and the client get disconnected while you send the authentication packets. As I have already got the WPA handshake, so um, I'll, uh, there is no need for getting the handshake again. So I can uh, start uh, cracking the password. So this is done I can stop it or I can leave it running it's up to me so now you type air crack dash ng dash a2 dash b this is for routers bssid this one okay. copy it and paste it it's done after that dash w this is for patch to word list 
which means in this case it is demo password directory.txt this is the text file okay so after that you need to uh, show the location of the cap file um, uh, in this case it is dash 01.cap in your case the name might be different but whatever it is just click it and drag it and paste it here now if you have done everything correctly the result should come up on your screen hit enter so the key has been found it has just 27 keys out of 30 and key found demo password 1 so um, make sure that uh, everything you have done correctly in order to get the result but also remember that this was a small directory that's why it has taken such a small amount of time not even one second but if it's uh, if it's um, i mean what to say i mean a big directory such as the rocky.txt or any other directory that you've downloaded from the internet it will take a lot of time especially more than one hour or two so that's how you hack the wi-fi so right now you can connect it connect into it and see whether the password is correct or not but it's 100 percent sure that this is the password of the current wi-fi that we have hacked so that's how you do that so that's how hacking is done for a using a directory that i told and that i showed also so if you have learned something from this video don't forget to hit the like button and if you like it and dislike if you dislike it and leave comments below in the comment section and don't forget to be awesome now what's that mean that means that don't forget to slap that red subscribe button and help me grow and i'll see you next time goodbye